Hey, welcome back everybody. We're over here at 1611 Alito in the D1 facility. Going to do a little check out some of that Hanma review. Yeah, so you've got? yeah. gotten the TR20 V, v mm -hmm. which is their kind of mid-level cavity back forged iron. Yeah, whatever their mid-range. They got the, I don't even know what the blade is called that you're getting. I don't it's still a TR20, but I forget what the acronym what is. Thing is on it. Yeah. So if it I goes, had them, I'd be more than happy to share it with you. It goes the blade and then the V, and then the P has a little yep. cavity in there, and then the X, but they have a new X coming out. Yeah, the X would be like their hollow body. Mm -hmm. So like a PXG. P790. P790, yep. yep. So, but that is gonna be replaced at the end of this year with whatever the new version is, so. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, we're, we're specifically looking at the V. Uh, we do have two versions of it though. Yep, two different chefs. So you have, in, in this one, you have the Dynamic Gold Tour Issue. S4. S4. Yeah. And then over here, we have the uh, NS Pro. Yeah, the Lotus. Yeah. Should be a 120, 120 stiff. Yeah, there's a sticker in a bad spot. <laughs> yeah. So uh, this is obviously, I typically would play an X1 if it was that, 6.5 in the Project X. So this this one might be a little soft for us, but we're gonna, we'll give it a try. Yeah. Um, see what the differences are. But uh, also your back's bothering you a little bit. Yeah. That's yeah. what's bothering you. We just did a few other things over in the workout facility and look tight. So we're gonna see how much he's gonna actually swing in this one. You might get yeah. a whole lot of this. Yeah, I'm gonna get maybe a swing and a half. So let's see what we got here. Yeah. Let's see if I consistently so, see the uh, left miss that I'm seeing right now. Have we reviewed any Hanma golf clubs yet? I mean, we've done the driver. The driver we have, and we did the um, the X. We did the, the You're driving right. iron. We did the driving iron showdown. So if you yep. haven't seen that, go check out the mm -hmm. P790 versus, UDI. Yep, versus the X. Versus the T-World X. So right at the gates, who is this club meant for? Um, if there's if such a thing. Yeah, I'd say. I'd say you're better golfer, scratch, somewhere in there, like I almost, single, single digit handicap maybe? I was gonna say it's almost, for somebody that really wants a forged feel, yep. I kind of start there, because there's some higher indexes that prefer that forged feel. Mm -hmm. Might push them towards the P, obviously. Um, but this is a traditionally forged club, um, no cast on it. Nope, it's, it's um, I mean, it's a good, it's, it's kind of like we've talked about before, it's that classic, kind of a classic look to it. Right. Eh, I like it. A little wristy at it still, just with the back, but. Yep. A little more closed than you normally would get. Yeah. All right, so let's check this. So that was tour Both. issue, modus. Let's see if we see anything any different so we here. We are flexed down now though. Mm -hmm. It's usually a little bit lower ball flight. I mean, obviously I'm playing them. I like them. <laughs> yeah, I think, you know, we happen to have a, well, that doesn't get much straighter than that. <laughs> <laughs> How about some zeros? Zeros are good. I'm gonna end on that one. <laughs> like that. You know, I think for us too, and we are playing a six iron by the way. Yes, yeah. Um, somebody broke their seven iron. <laughs> right out of the gates, you can feel the, I mean, I feel like a weight difference between this one and that one. Yeah. But again, it's more Feeling here tough. versus here, and that's just the difference in the modus versus yep. a DG. Um, yeah, I mean, if you're a traditional player, i.e. somebody that's been either playing for a long time and are used to forge clubs, mm -hmm. um, I've played forge clubs almost my entire life. Um, forged, forged face, which is essentially just the face parts, the forging. Yeah. Um, this is a full forged. Uh, I think it's one of the better feeling forged clubs on the market. Yeah, it's a good one. Um, I mean, there's uh, all your forged clubs are gonna feel pretty, pretty good anyway. I mean, just to, you sure. you hit a forged club in the face, it feels better. It just does. Um, Ooh. But as far as how soft it feels coming off the face, I definitely put it in that class with uh, Mizuno. Era. That's um, I was about it. to say, Ed. I'll throw it in there. Being that it's them. a similar forging process to Mirror, which is a little bit different than everybody else. Mm -hmm. Callaway, Mizuno, um, TaylorMade, they all have forged clubs. Yeah. Um, Ping's really the only one, which they have one forged yeah, club. Yeah, blue, for the most part, blueprint. blueprint. Um, Ping really doesn't produce forged clubs. They're kind of, they own the cast space, essentially. Yeah. 
what they bought, Pings only had two, what they had a, they, they forged yep, the right. answer and then they forged that blueprint. Ooh, I am a little stiffer than I thought. It's a good ball there. Yeah, it felt like crap. Let me switch you out here. So that was Aaron's, is that, is that bent, Aaron at all? Yes, we're, uh, I am one flat. Okay. So what were you playing before you were playing the Hanmas? Uh, I had the Shrixon 765. So like head, call it like head shape, makeup and everything. Right. Pretty much the same. Like it was the same kind of back to it. It looks relatively the same looking right. down at it. Um, they were again forged. Um, shaft, I had a little bit heavier shaft um, in those. I went a little bit softer in these, and I am a big fan. I also soft stepped these. Did you? Uh, one, yeah. So you played something pretty similar, and I wasn't playing very much last year, as I've said about 100 times on this, mm -hmm. but so I actually have the P790s in the bag, standard loft, because I know that they will do standard loft if you beg them. <laughs> yeah. But typically that's three to four degrees strong. Ha. Um, but quite frankly, because again, they're standard loft. I mean, my carry on that last six iron was 199 yards. It's about a half club, maybe a full club difference, shorter. Mm -hmm. But for me, that's a good thing. It's back to what you're used to seeing. Yeah, I'd probably say a little bit more than I'm used to seeing, but not mm -hmm. a lot. I mean, you know, five, 10 yards. Yeah. The P790s posed an issue. When your pitching wedge goes 150, 155 yards, it's hard to gap on the low side yeah. and still where get enough clubs down there. Yeah, where you're hitting, you're playing, I mean, you're, you've got from what, a 150 to, to 220, and you got six clubs, 240, yeah, you got six clubs, and yeah. then you have three from zero to 150. Right, <laughs> so it caused all kinds of fun problems. Yeah, gapping is, gapping is something else that, you know, whenever you start looking at your set, you really need to pay attention to, right. like I was just saying, I mean, if you have five clubs to fill a hundred yard gap, and then you have two wedges to fill a 150 yard gap, right? that's not good. Well, and who this golf club is meant for, I don't feel like it's, like when you start to pull a P790 in, yes, if you have somebody that's maybe decreasing speed because of their age, but they're used to being a low index, then they probably fall in that category. Mm -hmm. But the P790 is a distance iron. Um, it just happens to be a forged face, hollow body, feels good, easy to hit, um, and a single digit can play it. Just know that if you're a single digit that has distance, it will probably mess up your set to where you have to either reassess the entire set um, or only go up to a five iron or a four iron and then... I did see that, um, that Taylor made, I think they put it on Instagram or something because you know they've got whatever all the new stuff that... Yeah, the 770s. 770s and, and 7P7Ms, well, whatever their stuff is. But they put a pretty cool, which I think other companies should mimic this uh, or copy what they did. Um, so they took a chart and they put in all three of the heads. So you've got like the hollow bodied, yep. the kind of distance one, you've got the middle of the road like this, and then they've got their straight muscle back one. Right. And then they put a chart together that tells you if you want how to combo all your sets and what to, what to bend them to. And so it's this whole setup on there and it's telling you like, hey, okay, if you want the muscle backs and pitch through seven iron, do that. And then the next one up you get six through four, you need to bend all these two degrees weaker or something right. like that. So then you have continuous lofts going all the way through it. Right, um, but that's you got a good the idea. Forgiveness. It, I mean, it was, I saw it and I was like, wow, that was really. Yeah, that's actually a really, really cool Really, really good. It takes, cause yeah, people combo set stuff, mm -hmm. but they don't think about whenever I go from, say like, like me, we changed the lofts on it, but we went from the V, went from the V to the P and then uh, <laughs> we changed the lofts on it. But if you don't have somebody that's really setting you down to telling you like, hey man, uh, those are gonna be, the P is a degree and a half, two degrees stronger than the V is. So whenever you go from your seven iron, your six iron in the V right. to the P on the five iron, you're gonna have a 25 yard gap in there because right. of the lofts, you need to turn that down a little bit. So that was, that was pretty yeah, cool that's what really Taylor cool. made did. I'm leaving this up for a second. <laughs> so. I tried something there. Um, Aaron and I have been working on a similar swing motion yeah. that it brings your shoulders a little bit more round and in trying to work something there. I tried to get steep with a cut 
and do that, I'm not there yet. <laughs> Not, I jokingly grabbed the club head like it was loose, but it's not. not. I just full on hit the hosel. <laughs> not quite there yet. And just to prove that it's not all the time, <laughs> one more. That's probably way left now, I'm trying to fix it. Nah, that's about that way. Yeah, good. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's a great feeling club. Um, obviously, <laughs> and this just is a testament to how different shafts can be, yeah. but uh, you hit that versus this, and this feels very different swing. It feels similar in the head when you yeah. strike it, but the swing itself feels very different in comparison just because of uh, the shaft differences and the exact yep. same grip too, so that's not it either. But I mean, yeah, you're right, it feels good. I'm, I'm excited to see what the differences are when we really narrow it down between the V and again, whatever they're calling the blade. Um, mm -hmm. I'm not 100% sure what that yeah, acronym we'll is, the, the TR20, but. Yeah, because you'll have the bottom end of yours in that blade so I went, and the bottom end of mine's the V. Yeah, I went five through pitch okay. uh, in the blade and then I've got the P in the, um, I'm sorry, six through pitch in the blade, four and five um, in, the, uh, in v. the V. And then the three will be, I'm holding off because we're so close to the new T-World launching. Yeah. So my driving iron and my UDI or whatever you want to call it, mm -hmm. uh, will be my, will be the new TW, whatever yeah, they're whatever called. That yeah, that the new hollow body, mm -hmm. which will have a graphite shaft in it. And yeah. Treat it more like a, almost like a five wood hybrid type of a thing yeah. versus anything else, so. Um, for that to come out too. Yeah, right, no have kidding. A swap in the bag. For five minutes, <laughs> um, but yeah, you know, it's. I mean, club head speed for me was right there with it, and that last one was 98 miles an hour with a carry of 204 yards. That's again, it's a little longer than I was previously. Um, the set I was playing the Callaway Apex MBs for like through two seasons, mm -hmm. um, and that's eh, five to eight yards longer yeah. than those, um, a hair shorter. And this typically my seven iron, the P790 again, standard loft, was. Um, I would normally play that right around 195, 197, 8. I could really push it to. Yeah. Comfortably. I mean, I could hit it over 200. Yeah. But Not, yeah, just the hosel issues. thing came into play when you do that. <laughs> Jump it. So, yeah. I mean, if you're looking at a forged club and you're either used to that feeling or you're a better player looking to maybe bring that launch down from something as you progress, from a P790, something that launches high with a little spin and you're looking to take that next step into something that you can work a little bit easier. Yeah. That's the other big thing that we really didn't talk about is yeah, workability, this iron's a little higher. Yeah. Um, but that also means if you miss hit it a little bit, it's gonna move a little bit more. Little bit. Mm -hmm. So, um, but if, if that's you know where you stand, I would absolutely throw this into the mix. Um, I know you and I feel similar on this, that it's been, Kind of not shocking, but a little bit eye-opening when we've hit yeah. the Honda stuff. Something that's that's relatively new to the U.S. market, and then you hit it, and it's it's good. I mean, it's it's. I wouldn't put it in the bag if it wasn't good. Yeah, exactly, and I, and I wouldn't I either. Like any, I said, I mean, I had no. It's not like I was really needing a switch of clubs. Right. And then. Yeah, I am. <laughs> Just because I've since we shot these videos, I've started to play more, get mm -hmm. back in the gym, do all those things, and so I did need to switch. Those are just too long. Yeah. Even even the standard loft, um, it was just too long. So too many hot shots on it. Yeah, and it's especially, and I don't know if people have noticed this or not on the P790, but if I catch not necessarily a flyer lie, but just a little high on the face at 10 yards, yeah. and it was just, I mean, just nuclear. Yeah, I was playing a couple of weeks ago up in North Dallas, and I had a seven iron from 195 in and I airmailed the green by 15 yards. No wind, by the way, and it was hot and humid, so shouldn't have. That's, yeah, that's quite true. Um, yeah, and I didn't catch it fat, but I did get a little steep on it, so the ball drifted up on the face a little bit, and when that happens, there is typically a hot spot. Anything that's not a straight forged club, that's, yeah. there's always gonna be a slightly hotter spot. That's just how they work. So if you know where it is, great, hit it every time, yeah, and then you just it. know your yardage. Yeah. So, cool. Yep. You got any last thoughts? Nope. TR20, check it out. Get fit. If you're in North Texas, let us know. Yeah. Hold the Robbie. If you got uh, if you got questions on this club or any of our other clubs, as I'm playing my helicopter over here, um, just uh, ask us below in the comments. We'd be more than happy to answer them. I know uh, we're both pretty good on our respective channels of getting in there and making sure that uh, those comments are comments answered are within answered. a reasonable yeah, manner. In about a day or so, worst case. But um, yeah. Cool. Wrap it up. We're good to go. Thanks, guys. We'll see you next time. Appreciate it.